Good morning, this is Dwayne, and we're doing a series called How to Color on the Piano Without Crayons. We've been talking about learning to improvise using chords. Improvise, of course, means to make up something as you go along. And in this case, we're talking about making up a new melody to a, uh, to a, to a tune, to a familiar tune. And I'm using the uh, these old song, Blue Moon, that goes like this. talked about we could use scale notes when we improvise or we can use chord notes or any combination. Now today I'd like to talk about scale notes but chromatic scale notes. Okay, We're going to use them not so much as a passage like that but as grace notes. Some people call them uh, grace notes, some call them blue notes, etc. But in any case we're going to use some of these black keys. We're in the key of C that I'm playing. So we're going to use some of these black keys, non-scale non notes in other words, to make our playing a little more interesting, okay? Uh, last time I showed you about how to improvise using broken chords. For example, we could go right up the chord and right down the chord and right up the chord and right down the chord or any combination. Okay, and notice there at the end I use a chromatic passage. Didn't intend to, but I'm so used to doing that. So let's do that a little more now. Okay, notice I started out by going this. Those are triplets, triplet, triplet. And if you like to do, if you like that sound, just slide your index finger off of. Uh, G flat onto G. Now the correct finger, of course, is to go like that. The classical fingering, but in jazz and popular music, you can. I kind of like the effect of that better than better than the pure uh, fingering. So if you like that, just slide off that note up there. So it's one pull it, two pull it, three pull it, four pull it. You see, it takes up one beat. I played that on C. See, I'm just playing notes of the C chord, except I'm sliding off uh, a black key to a key. And then on, when the chord changed to A minor, I went like this. I slid off, slid off the E flat to E. And there, the D, chord's D minor seventh, so I, I took a half step down from any, any one of the notes of the D seventh chord and did the same thing, kind of to confirm the pattern. Now I could have taken another note. See, that's also in the D minor chord, right? That D is, but A is too, so. There on the G chord, I slid off B flat, going to B, and then to G. So there's a lot of a lot of possibilities to make your playing a little more interesting if you use grace notes like that. Okay. Now tomorrow we'll get into more detail about using uh, other chromatic notes when we improvise. But for today, I think I'll just stop it right there. You can use those grace notes or blue notes to make your playing a little more interesting when you improvise on chords. So thanks for being with me, and we'll see you tomorrow as we continue this series. So bye bye for now.